The connection between music education and the development of skills children need to be successful in life is undeniable. That connection consistently and passionately drives our honoree's commitment to play a pivotal role in a child's future and strengthen our community. The mission of our 2014 Arts and Education Organization honoree is simple, to give the underserved youth of Greater Phoenix the gift of music education by providing instruments and free instruction. During 2013, our honoree served 400 disadvantaged students and presented 56 events that attracted nearly 4,600 students, families, and community supporters. Accredited by the National Guild for Community Arts Education, our honoree is one of the largest free after-school music programs in the nation. Our honoree provides instruction, a loaned instrument, curriculum, and performance opportunities, and teaches piano, strings, and winds, as well as offering choir and mariachi training ensembles. During the past three years, a remarkable 97% of the students graduating from this program enrolled in college. The 2014 Governor's Arts Award for Arts and Education Organization goes to Rosie's House, a musical academy for children. Wow, oh, what an honor and what a surprise. I have with me on stage Michael Ling, the Vice President of our board at Rosie's House, and he has a couple of remarks as well. Um, I'd like to say thank you. This is an honor. It's amazing. The things that are done at Rosie's House every day is amazing. Um, I'd like to thank um, all of you who help us and contribute to us. We are a organization that runs on donations and thank you to all the individuals, the firms, the corporations, and the foundations that contribute to us to make us do what we get to do. I also would like to thank Lisa Gereas of Cal um, Alliance for nominating us. Thank you very much. And um, I'd also like to thank Becky, um, we couldn't do it as a board member. We couldn't do this without her, and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Michael. I'd also like to acknowledge the other nominees in this category. The work that you do in this community is amazing, and I think that all of you deserve a round of applause. So we've been in existence for 18 years, and there have been so many people that have fought for our mission and have believed in what we do. And first and foremost, I want to acknowledge our founder, Rosie. Um, this woman, she had such tremendous vision, converting a dilapidated house near the state capitol, a rundown house in a challenged neighborhood, to a safe place for neighborhood children to come after school and participate in one of the most uplifting and life-changing acts the act of creating music. And from our humble, ex humble beginnings with 45 students in that small little house, now we provide over 11,000 free music lessons and youth development activities to disadvantaged youth. <laughs> each and every day when I'm on our campus, I, I realize this, each and every day we expand the minds and horizons of our students and we give them a safe place to express their creativity and their dreams. I really feel compelled to share a quote that illustrates our mission. It illustrates all of the work that you do, and I think it's a truth that we all understand. This is a quote from the mother of one of our violin students, and it's about her son's experience in our program. These are her words. His father recently went to prison, and in his absence, my son began to struggle in all aspects of his life. Music has proven to be therapeutic, and I can truly see the positive impact it has had on my son. With every chord, song, and melody he learns, his self-confidence grows. This is our work at Rosie's House Music Uplifts, and in addition to the power of music, to heal and build character. We all know that training in music develops the 21st century skills our kids need to be successful academically. And we have proven this. 97% of our students in the last three years have reached college attainment, and it's amazing to see. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
This work that we do involves our entire community. We have so many partners here with us in the audience tonight. Thank you. It also involves our social service agencies that are not represented here tonight, um, and also our amazing 24 faculty members. I'd like to especially acknowledge Dr. Rose French, who was nominated in the artist category for being here tonight and for all of her work at Rosie's House. I really truly feel that we're a safety net made up of music and love and that we're wrapped in the firm belief that every child deserves a chance and deserves the power of music in their lives and deserves the arts. Again, I'd like to thank our board member Michael Lang for being with here, us here tonight and Katie Heth, who's also here, and also our uh, supporters here with us tonight. And again, a special thank you to Lisa Urias for nominating us for this award. And again, a thank you to Arizona Citizens for the Arts and to all of you for believing that what we're doing is an investment in the youth and future of Arizona. Thank you so much. Thank you.